In this video, we will get an overview of what is descriptive statistics and how we can categorize it into its different categories. So first, what's a descriptive statistics? So descriptive statistics is a set of numbers that describe a data. So you are given a bunch of data, different observations of the data, and you derive out some parameters out of that which can describe the data. For example, you must have heard the term mean or standard deviation. So if uh, all the data, thousand, let's say thousand data points are there, which are coming from a normal distribution. And if you are able to find the mean and standard deviation of all those data, then basically with those two parameters, you are describing the data. So descriptive statistics is basically that only. It gives you a set of numbers. In our earlier example, it was a set of two numbers. It can be more. So let's see what are the different types of descriptive statistics. We divide it into mainly central tendency, measures of central tendency, uh, which is the various averages and uh, it describes some central aspect of the data. And the second one is measures of dispersion, which says how spread out or dispersed the data is. In the central tendency, we study mainly about mean, median and mode. And in the measures of dispersion, we have different measures. I have not listed all of those. So some come under the category of range measures where we will see what's the range of the data. Then we will see how we can divide the data into different quartiles. By quartile, I mean we can divide it into uh, four quartile, uh, starting from zero to four. So basically five quartiles. So first quartile means uh, all the number of data, uh, which is more than 25%. So this can be zero quartile, first quartiles, so 25% of the data lie in this range, first quartile. Then there is a second quartile, third quartile, and uh, this comprises of 50% of the data, and fourth quartile, here is the remaining 25%, and mean median is somewhere in this second quartile. So we will see uh, this in more detail in our further videos. And from here we get a concept called IQR or interquartile range. So these different measures will come under range measures. Then we have deviation measures where we can have mean deviation, standard deviation. Then we have also some other measures like coefficient of dispersion and other, other measures like variance. So uh, all of these I have not listed, but we will see all of those when we move further.